Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Entertainment Brick Show. Today, I want to continue my, my 2023 LEGO DC wish list. And, uh, of course, last video, or, you know, last whatever, last wish list video was um, for movie stuff, for movie and animated and video game stuff. Now, we are moving into my original ideas I came up with. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. It's not completely original because it's more based off of the Lego video games that we already have. So Lego DC video games that we already have. So, for example, like Lego Batman, Lego Batman 2, Lego Batman 3, and Lego DC supervillains. Um, most of these sets are based off of um, DC supervillains and Batman 3. Not so much Batman 2 or the original Batman game. And then some of these sets are also, like, I believe completely original. Minus, like, a few, like, maybe figures or characters, rather, from the games kind of thrown into, like, some random set that I just came up with on my own. Um, but yeah, there's actually, like, 20 sets here. Very excited to get into it here. It's like, the, I feel like this might be my first ever, like, original, original kind of set sharing video. I could be wrong about that. I'll have to go back through. But anyways, um, yeah, we got a bunch of sets here. And, they're again, they're all based off of... DC Supervillains, Lego Batman 3, or have some sort of connection to both of those games. Because um, these are sets that I wish actually happened and were actually based off their own games. But anyways, um, yeah, here we go. Let's get into it right now. Very excited. All right, so this will, you know, generally be structured like how I did it with the uh, pa pre previous video, rather. Um, and, you know, I'll be going through the sets, going through the figures, going through the builds. And, uh, yeah, let's get going. So... First on the list, we're kind of starting, like, I kind of divided it up a little bit into, like, waves, sort of. Not really, though. Um, so, I guess wave one in this in this idea here, or, like, the first kind of ideas that I came up with, basically, were um, this first set here, which I just called the Joker's Amusement Park. This is based off of DC Supervillains. Um, and it's, like, going to be, like, a $20 set, a nice small set to start, out, start us off here. And the figures are going to be Joker and Harley Quinn, so uh, the Joker version from Supervillains as well as Harley Quinn from Supervillain. So no, you know, real exclusive minifigures here in this set. But um, the builds are going to be this little carnival, like, tent game, and also, like, this spinning wheel that you have to, like, use, you know, stud shooters. It's basically a target, you know? Um, and again, this is a very baseline $20 set just to kind of get, like, the, the thing, the theme started, sort of. You know, like, if you're not really feeling this wave of, of DC sets and you want, like, just a little bit of it, you know, go out and buy this little $20 set to get Harley Quinn and Joker, and, you know, a couple, you know, simple, very simple builds here, um, but yeah, just a very baseline, um, set to start us off, and I based this kind of off of, um, in the, I think it was in the Carnival or Fun, Funland area, there was like a, uh, you could go inside Joker's base, like Joker's amusement funhouse base, and that's kind of where the inspiration for this idea came from, sort of, was just kind of like all the wacky stuff that was in that room. Um, and why not, you know, th that was like kind of like just to have that sense of Joker having like his own base would be used in this set here. So next set on the list here is um, Black Adam's Resurrection. This would be like a $40 set here. And this is, of course, uh, again, based off of supervillains. And the minifigures are Harley Quinn, Black Adam, Shazam, and Mazas, which is... Shazam backwards. This is this is obviously again based off of supervillains. So this is when um, Harley Quinn and like a group of characters may, um, were trying to save uh, Black Adam or resurrect him, and then Mazas and Shazam came in to kind of try and stop him. And uh, again, you know that that's from that scene. And the build here would be this Egyptian museum kind of playset area. So you'll kind of have like the um, the pyramid in the middle where where Black Adam's tomb was. And then, you know, maybe like some backdrop kind of, you know, builds just to kind of set the scene sort of. Um, and yeah, so I think it'd be kind of cool, cool set to get with, you know, again, you're getting a comic version of Black Adam, Mazas, and comic version of Shazam. So three pretty exclusive cool figures there, as well as just a reuse of Harley Quinn because, um, you know, she was a part of that level in the in the game. So why not include her here, right? Next level, I mean, um set number three here is oh this one's actually kind of original this one's kind of original because it's purely based off of one character that i've wanted in lego for a long time now and that is Solomon grundy's graveyard attack 
This is another $40 set, you know, kind of $40 range. And the figures would be Batman, Solomon Grundy in his big fig form, obviously, uh, Green Arrow, and Livewire. So you're going to be getting a new version of Green Arrow. I don't know, you know, what inspiration from the comics, you know, would be taken here because there has been a couple of versions of Green Arrow previously, just not that many. Um, Livewire, purely because she was in Villains, DC Super Villains, um, and I liked her character design. Why not throw her in this set as another villain? And then Solomon Grundy from his Lego Batman 3 design, where he kind of like has his hair and stuff like that, because the Super Villains design is used in another set later on. So this version of Solomon Grundy, this big fig version, is um, with his Lego Batman 3 design. Lego Batman 3. And then Batman will just be regular Batman, kind of Batman reuse figure, whatever. Um, and the builds are going to be like this graveyard build where, you know, you could like have Solomon Grundy come up from a grave and, you know, attack or something. I don't know exactly how it would all plan out, but Lego has done graveyards and tombstones and graves before. So I am not worried at all if this is too like over the top or anything like that. So considering they've done it before, I'm, I just, you know, I went for it. <laughs> and then uh, set number four here. Again, this is this is a based off of DC Supervillains because this was a vehicle that I really wanted to see in a real Lego set, but it never never came to be. And that is the Joker tanker truck, which is going to be like the fifty dollar range here. And the figures are going to be Nightwing, Batgirl, Joker, and Clayface as a minifigure. So of course, in Lego DC Supervillains, um, Clayface was uh, a minifigure, a minifigure character, and we've never gotten that in Lego before. So why not throw him in here? Because he was in this scene in the game. So again, you're going to be getting that reuse of Joker, you're going to get that new Clayface minifigure, new Batgirl, and I believe it's a new Nightwing as well from that scene, or it might be the one from the um, Bat truck base, whatever it was. Um, but the builds here are going to be a little Nightwing cycle, so like the regular buildable motorcycle builds here, as we usually get in LEGO sets, especially LEGO City. And then um, the other build is the Joker-ified if that's even a word, it's not, it's not a word, Jokerified tanker truck that was from that scene in the game, which I really liked that build, I thought that build would be cool, and I think that would have made a perfect Lego set, but it didn't, because I want more Joker vehicles, we always get Batman vehicles, never any Joker vehicles, and I want more Joker vehicles, although minus that Junior set that came with like a Joker hot rod car, that was kind of cool, to be honest with you, even though it was a Junior set, I was still kind of okay with it, um, but yeah, Jokerified tanker truck from that video game, from DC Supervillains, that's what I want as a set. 50 bucks would probably be the, probably around the price range of what it would be. And some pretty cool minifigures as well included. Then set number five would be also, again, based off of supervillains, would be Calabax T-Rex Mech. This was obviously from, I don't remember which level it was, but one of the levels in the game, you fought Calabac, um, and he had this T-Rex Mech that he was riding around in. So why not get a set off of it? Um, this would be around the $70 range. This would be a bigger set, much bigger set. And um, the figures here would be Aquaman, Superman, Green Lantern, and Calabac himself. So obviously Big Fig Calabac. And then the builds would be that T-Rex mech. I kind of think it would be similar to the Jurassic World. It was like this one Jurassic World set with like this robotic T-Rex mech, basically. And I'm kind of thinking the this set would be very, very similar to that build. You know, the build would be very similar. Um, but instead, it would be, you know, enough space to fit a big fig of Calabac in it. I think the Calabac big fig would be a really cool design, nice detail on the big fig. Um, while Aquaman, Superman, and Green Lantern would just kind of be like their general designs from DC Supervillains. Just kind of like taking them right from the game and putting them into minifigure form. So this, they could be reuses. I think Aquaman may have been reused. And then um, Superman... Actually, I think they are all kind of just reused figures in this case. But um, yeah, that, that build would be that giant T-Rex mech. Then this next set, number six on the list here, is Attack on Apocalypse. This would be a $100 set. Nice bigger set here. And this would be quite the set. Um, because it would come with Batman. Reuse of Batman. Reuse of Superman. Uh, reuse of Wonder Woman. And then it would come with dark side, so a new dark side design or new new dark side printing fig uh, on the big figure, Granny Goodness as a big figure as well, uh, Grail, which is which is dark side's daughter, and Desad. So you're getting a pretty good amount of dark side related characters here, which I think is really good. Um, you're getting two big figs in this set, 
So obviously the uh, the piece count might be a little bit low on the lower side um, to make up for both of those big figures. But the builds here are the Apocalypse Throne Room. So it's an Apocalypse Throne Room playset. So you're going to have like this giant built up throne for Dark Side, for Big Fig Dark Side to stand on. Then you also have like, you know, Granny Goodness's kind of um, podium, I guess, or whatever that was, whatever she flies around on. You know, you have Granny Goodness's kind of spot on the on the right side, and then maybe on the left side is something for Decide, like a little machine or something. Um, but yeah, Batman, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman getting the trio of heroes here in their reuse designs. Apologize if you hear the plane above me; it is flying, and I can hear it pretty loudly. But anyways, you're getting those three figures in this in this like reuse design, and then um, two big figures, Dark Side and Granny Goodness, in both new printing designs as well as two uh, regular villain minifigures, Desaad and Grail, who we've never gotten before. Um, but yeah, I think this would be a nice, cool playset to have, and I mean, definitely comes with some pretty cool villains as well. Then, number seven is a D2C set. This would be a large D2C set for $200, or in that range, right? And it's the Hall of Doom. Now, this one had... Some inspiration from villains, some inspiration from just, like, crazy, obscure comic villains, basically. And the figures here would be Joker, reused, obviously. Lex Luthor from Villains, which I think is still a reused figure. Black Manta. Uh, I don't know if they would reuse the figure. It would probably have to be a new design because they want to try and keep, like, the Black Manta figures unique. Um, Malcolm Merlin, who is uh, a character we've never gotten before. But he is the villain, um, who I think he's a Green Arrow villain, right? And he just basically has a bow and arrow. So he's not anything too crazy, but still a cool figure to get, new character. Um, now we're kind of going into the comic characters here that weren't really from DC Supervillains. We have Dr. Light, which I think would be a really cool character to have. Um, Star Sapphire, who of course is one of the Lanterns, part of the lan one of the Lantern Corps. Uh, Bane, because we've never gotten a Bane in a long time. We haven't been getting a Bane minifigure in a long time, so... Why not throw him in this set? Mirror Master, who I guess is actually from Villains, so that, that design from DC Super Villains, as well as Heat Wave and Captain Cold. So Heat Wave, uh, probably from his comic design, and then Captain Cold, actually probably from a new design too, because we've already gotten a Captain Cold before, but we don't want to reuse that design, because, you know, when, when you can make a new one, right? Uh, Golden Glider, who it would also be another comic character, very cool character to have. Um, now, I can't say this name properly, but this, I know this character, I know this character, I'm not just like making this up off the top of my head. He was in um, Young Justice, but he's also, you know, like a, a Martian Manhunter kind of villain here. I believe it's Mal... Malefic... Mal 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 Malefic Johns, I think? He's one of the one of the Martians from, from you know, Martian Manhunter's um, planet. And I'm kind of thinking he would be in like the Martian Manhunter kind of look, sort of, like in the actual alien look. Um... And again, he was in Young Justice. I just don't know how to pronounce his name properly, so I apologize. Um, and then another character here, Shaggy Man, who is a comic character, as well as Shadow Thief, um, Poison Ivy, who could just be, I guess, reused, and Copperhead. So again, you have a nice mixture of characters from DC Supervillains and characters from the comics as well, who I think could just kind of work for this Hall of Doom set. And then, of course, the builds here would be this giant Hall of Doom build, you know, with, with you know, exterior details to show, like, the, the design of the, I think it was, like, the face or whatever, um, of the Hall of Doom, and then you can open it up to reveal the interior with a bunch of interior rooms and stuff like that. So, very substantial build, very cool build with a lot of cool characters and villains who people may have not even heard of, but, you know, Lego, uh, Lego the Lego Batman movie did the exact same thing, bringing us really cool, obscure characters so why not also include obscure characters in the actual DC or Lego DC theme, right? So there you go, Hall of Doom. Now we'll move on to kind of like the next wave, sort of. So we're kind of like restarting price-wise. I ordered these in price, but um, now we're kind of moving on to like the next set of sets, basically. So number eight here, another one based off of um, DC Supervillains, and that is the Clock Tower Duel. So another $20 set, nice smaller set here. Comes with Batman, Joker, so reuse of Batman, reuse of Joker, and then an exclusive Joker goon. And the uh, the builds here are going to be like this clock tower build, the top of the clock tower, and then also this tower scaffolding to kind of like have Batman and Joker fight on. 
So it's going to be kind of like a, um, what's the, what's the word here? Uh, kind of like a, um, very similar to, I mean, how, how would I explain this here? I'm, I'm like losing, losing my train of thought trying to explain this here. Um, kind of like a, not a vignette, but a, ah, like a, like a dual set, basically. It's going to be kind of like, um, kind of like the Ray versus Kylo Ren on, on Starkiller set. And like the the Anakin versus Obi Wan on Mustafar set, like kind of like it's like a dual set with you know the background being this clock tower build, and then you know you have like the scaffolding to kind of stand on and fight you know Batman and Joker, and then plus this Joker goon. So I don't know, kind of like a cool little twenty dollars set. Um, same thing, same goes for the same deal. Like where if you're not really feeling the wave, you just want a little bit of it, you get this little twenty dollars set, and then you know there you go. Then set number nine here is um another kind of dark side related set here it is steppenwolf's apocalypse chariot for fifty dollars you know definitely a uh, price jump here and the figures will be steppenwolf in this big fig form based off of dc supervillains um he i thought it, i thought his design in supervillains was really really well done really cool big fig uh figure and i think he would work perfectly for um for an actual lego set like a really cool big fig to have in a lego set so there you go he's included here um, this will also come with a parademon and then it will also come with Batman and Superman. So two figures reused Batman and Superman uh, But then you also get an exclusive parademon figure and an exclusive Steppenwolf big fig and the builds here are this apocalypse chariot So maybe you'll have like skeleton horses and then like obviously the actual chariot build to actually fit um, Apocalypse, I mean I'm um, Steppenwolf on so there you go then number 10 another set based off of um, DC supervillains is Poison Ivy's Fly Trap for $60. And this is um, comes with Poison Ivy, of course. So Poison Ivy based off the Villains game. Then it comes with Deathstroke from his design in the Villains game, as well as Deadshot from his design, and Captain Boomerang. This is obviously based off that level where they try and go to, um, what is it, the Botanical Gardens, and try and recruit Poison Ivy. This is exactly you know what that is, basically. And then the builds are going to be Poison Ivy's Venus Flytrap Mech. So it's just going to be a mech set, which isn't the best thing, best build, you know, for a DC set. But I think it comes with some pretty cool figures, a nice redesign of Deathstroke, a nice redesign of Deadshot. And then I think the Captain Boomerang stays the same, but, you know, maybe there could be like a little bit of printing changes and stuff like that. And then the Poison Ivy would just be reused as well. I think it was from the 2019 Batman mech set, but um, yeah, so whatever. It'd just be kind of a cool set to have for the figures. Nothing too crazy on the build, though. Then, number 11 here is Gorilla Grodd versus Solovar for 60. Um, the figures here would be a nice new build a fig. I mean, not build a figure. Um, nice new big figure of Gorilla Grodd with the armor and stuff like that on. Because, we, of course, we have gotten a big fig version of Gorilla Grodd before, but not the one from the villain's design. Then, Solovar, who is going to be a new um big fig here um who's also like the gorilla kind of big figure here and then the other figure is lex luther so you're getting three figures in the set two exclusive big figures and then a reuse of lex luther um and the builds here are the gorilla grod or i mean gorilla city throne arena so basically uh this will probably be a much smaller set for the price that it's put at because of the exclusive big figures that are going to take you know uh some money to make you know um, and it would just be like a, a throne, basically a very small throne, but the big figure can fit on. And then just kind of like this little arena build. So you can have both big figures kind of duking it out. Um, and that's kind of the idea there. Then number 12 will be a $100 set. And this will be battle. Sorry, I just lost. I'm losing my voice here. Battle at Themyscira. And the figures are going to be Wonder Woman reused Superman and Batman, both reused. And then the new figures are going to be Lashina, Mad Harriet and Stompa, as well as a Parademon, so you'll get probably a reuse of the Parademon from the Apocalypse Chariot set with Steppenwolf, um, but you'll get Lashina, Mad Harriet, and Stompa, so Lashina and Mad Harriet, two exclusive figures, and then Stompa as a new exclusive big figure, a lot of big figures in the sets that I have here, um, and the builds will be a Themyscira Colosseum, so I'm kind of envisioning it similar to the Thor Ragnarok Hulk Arena set, um, but instead it's going to be Themyscira, so, you know, you'll have more of like a, a traditional design sort of for the Themyscira arena, and you'll be able to, you know, fight Stompa in there and, and the, the group here. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be kind of a cool set to have. 
Then number 13 here, another D to C set. You probably guessed this one considering the last D to C was a Hall of Doom. This one is going to be the Hall of Justice. So it's around the $200 range once again. And the figures would be Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, again reused. Then it would also be The Flash, Cyborg, Aquaman, Adam, Green Lantern, Ultraman, Superwoman, Owlman, Power Ring, Johnny Quick, Atomica, Sea King, and Grid. So a fair, fairly good 16 figures there. With um, a few of them being reused. So like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Aquaman. You know, five reused figures while the rest are all new and exclusive figures. Um, you're going to be getting the entire, oh, I forget what they're called. It's not Injustice Society. It's like the Justice Syndicate or something like that. Which of course is Ultraman, Superwoman, Owlman, and that whole group. So a lot of cool figures there. Eight figure, eight really cool figures there, as well as a new Flash, Cyborg, and Adam. That's pretty cool. And then the builds are the Hall of Justice, very similar to the Hall of Doom, where you're gonna have a lot of um, detail on the exterior. Then you can open it up, and you'll have all the rooms of the Hall of Justice included as well. So there's your giant D to C set of the Hall of Justice. Fingers crossed, is an actual set that comes true at some point later in the years, but. Every year it gets um, less and less of a chance that that will happen. Now we're kind of on to like the next sort of wave. Sort of, I don't know why I divide them up into waves. I just did. Um, and a lot, and most of this wave is based off of Lego Batman Three. So we're kind of going into like the Lego Batman Three area here. So um, the first set is number fourteen on our list here. We're getting a lot of sets here. There's twenty, um, and it's called the Lantern Thief, and it's gonna be twenty dollars. Um, and you'll in the figures are Batman. Larflees and Saint Walker. So of course Saint Walker is the blue lantern, Larflees is the orange lantern, and the builds here are going to be a giant orange lantern um build for Larflees and then a blue blue beetle bug monster mech. Now, obviously not the actual blue beetle. This is going to be for Saint Walker cuz in Lego Batman 3 in the um blue lantern level, you you there's like these bunch of these like bug things that come out and why not you know have it as a build here for a set very small mech i want to i want to mention here because it's only a 20 dollars set nothing too substantial here it's gonna be a small blue mech and then again the orange giant orange lantern for larflees as well and then batman as well as reused then number 15 is called the butcher and this is 30 dollars set figures are green lantern batman and atrocitus as a big fig now i know what you're thinking $30, I mean, a big fig in a $30 set isn't very common because usually big figs kind of cost a little bit to make. Um, and uh, yes, I agree, but I just think the piece count for this set will just be super duper low, like very low piece count um, to kind of compensate for the Atrocitus big fig, who's probably going to be a very detailed big figure. Um, but the builds here are going to be the Butcher, which is Atrocitus's bull kind of thing, like this big bull um, character. From Atrocitus, you know that he constructs with his with his lantern, um, and yeah, that 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 build just might be a little bit simple, like kind of smaller builds there to make up again for the Atrocitus big figure being in such a cheaper set. But yeah, again, you're gonna be reusing Green Lantern here as well as Batman, but the new Atrocitus big figure is pretty cool. It, it, it would be pretty cool. I want an Atrocitus figure really bad. So, um, and then next here, oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Number 16 is actually based off of Lego Batman 2, and this is the Joker Boat Attack, which is going to be like a $30 set, and this comes with Batman, uh, Joker in a diving suit, and this is loosely based off of Lego Batman 2, I should say, and Ambush Bug, because of course, if you've seen my top five Lego super Lego DC superheroes I want to see actually made into Lego, you'll know that for some weird reason, considering I watched, uh, was it Batman Brave and the Bold, uh, I have this like weird interest for ambush bug as like my favorite obscure kind of dc character and i had to include him in here somewhere so why not include him in here so again you're gonna have batman just kind of like a reused probably like the 2012 kind of version of batman that they use in the four plus junior sets then you'll have an exclusive ambush bug figure and then also an exclusive joker figure in this like diving suit you know which i think would be kind of cool and the builds would be a the joker speedboat which again was based off of lego batman 2 and then Batman would also get like this little skimmer to kind of, you know, go up against Joker here. But um, it would be that same boat design from Lego Batman 2 where the Batwing was chasing after, you know, the Joker boat. Um, 
And uh, yeah, so that would be the build. And then again, like a small little bat skimmer thing for Batman to kind of go after the Joker on. Um, but yeah, that's that $30 set. Then number 17 is a unique set based off of Lego Batman 3. This is going to be an 18 plus set where it's um, Brainiac's ship and it's going to be $80. So I kind of thought of it as like similar to the style of the helmet sets kind of, you know, like they're like 18 plus, they have like the black box design um, and they're just kind of like used as collector pieces. This is very similar to that where it's going to be, um, the figures are going to be Brainiac and Superman. They, that's actually what's different about this is that they actually come with figures here. It will come with a reuse of Superman and then um, Brainiac as well in this set. And it's going to be, the build is going to be the Brainiac's or Brainiac ship from Lego Batman 3, like the big flagship um, that he had in Lego Batman 3, just kind of like on the stand we you know probably with like a, a translucent pole going into the ship to kind of keep it up and you'll have like the tentacles and stuff like that coming out of it as well and then maybe like some sort of plaque that says brainiac ship or something like that i don't know it's gonna, it's gonna be an 18 plus kind of design set that i think could be kind of cool for like collectors and stuff like that um then number 18 is called strikers island of course i mean strikers, strikers island as in the prison strikers island and it's going to be 130 dollars. so nice bigger set here and the figures are going to be Lex Luthor, Joker, and Cheetah, all of which are going to be some, or no, I think, I think Joker and Lex Luthor are going to be reused. Cheetah, I think, is going to be a new design, because I think she has, like, um, I'm trying to think of her, what she looked like in LEGO DC Supervillains, because this is obviously a set based off of Supervillains um, from level one. Uh, I don't remember which, exactly what she looked like, but it would be that Cheetah design from that, um, from that game. Um, and then it would come with... Solomon Grundy, again, another Solomon Grundy big figure based off of supervillains, because I said, of course, um, that the different version of Grundy, the, the supervillains version of Grundy, would be included in another set. This is that set. Then you also include uh, a Strikers Island guard, just to kind of, you know, just to kind of have. Then also Cyborg, Batman, Superman, and Metallo from DC Supervillains as well, that same design. And the build, of course, is a Strikers Island playset. I think this would actually be a really cool playset. You know, you can have like kind of like a spot for the guard and then you'll have like Metallo's cell and then, you know, maybe a cell for the Joker and Luther and Cheetah, maybe a cell for Grundy um, and just, you know, overall pretty cool like design for a set, I think. I think I just think it could work really well. Then number 19 is another D to C set. Actually, these last two are D to C sets or, you know, around that D to C set area um, of price range. And this, this one, number 19, is the Super Friends Watchtower for 300 around the, much bigger than the um, Hall of Justice and Hall of Doom. The figures here are, are really cool. So um, it's going to be Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman all in their kind of classic Super Friends design. If you watched the Super Friends show when you were a kid like I was, I did, um, it's going to be like those designs of those figures. So I think the, uh, Batman was like, had like the blue design and stuff like that. Then he would also come with Martian Manhunter, Hawkman, the Flash, Aquaman, Rima, Samurai, Gleek, Green Lantern, and then the villains for this set would be Zoom, Vandal Savage, Steppenwolf in a minifigure form, Dr. Psycho, Black Hand, Giganta in a minifigure form, Dr. Natas, Felix Faust, and Mr. Mitzel Spitlick, or whatever his name is from the Superman the Animated Series. Um, him as well. Him as well will be included here. So yeah, a lot of cool figures here, a lot of like obscure kind of figures that are characters rather that maybe many people may have not have heard of, but I think could be really cool to include here. And then the builds would of course be the Watchtower, which I think could be a really unique, most likely very difficult build to do because it might it'd probably could be really tough to stand. So I'm kind of thinking like in order to add some support to it, it would have to have like some like sort of stand to hold it up basically. Because I don't really think it would be able to stand on its own. Because the whole idea is that you'd have like at both ends very thin parts, and then move into the middle where you get into like this larger part with like a much more of a interior. But I don't know how it really work. Um, I I kind of want to spend some time thinking about this, but obviously not in this video here. But then another side build as well would be a build a side build for Starro the Conqueror, which I think could also be a really cool villain to include here. Uh, of course, you know many people will probably know him from Suicide Squad. Um, and, but, you know, in the comic design, he's basically the exact same thing. He's just a giant starfish design, but I think it could be really cool. 
So, uh, yeah, that, that's number 19. Now, number 20 is um, kind of going back more to the Batman kind of design of sets here, and it is Ace Chemicals. It's going to be around the $200 range once again, just because it's like a larger building. Um, and the figures are going to be Batman, Batgirl, Robin, Joker, Harley Quinn, and then some really cool, obscure um, Batman villains like Scarface, Anarchy, Tallyman, The Savage Skull, The Wrath, Vicky Vale, who's not really a villain, but Vicky Vale, and then like an Ace Chemicals worker, basically. And the builds would be a news reporting helicopter side build, and then an eight, and then of course the main build, which is the Ace Chemicals building. So I'm kind of thinking it, uh, thinking of it in the modular style, where you'll have like you know the base plate. And then the, like, a three-story Ace Chemicals building, maybe the first floor has, like, some um, vats of acid. And then the second floor has, like, um, a, um, a walkway on the, t on the top floor, like, where you could push Joker in or something like that. Like, where one of, like, the, the guardrails can break off and, you know, Joker can fall in. And then the third floor would be, you know, maybe, like, an office area. And then the roof, and then the roof where you can have, like, um, a fight going on and, like, a water tower and stuff like that. So... I don't know, there's a lot of cool things that they could do, but I'm just thinking like this would be a pretty cool um, modular building for DC. I, again, Ace Chemicals. But um, yeah, that's kind of my idea there when it comes to that set. And that's really, really all my original ideas for Lego sets here. There's 20 of them, which is a lot, but um, yeah, th there, there you have it. That, that's all of it. That, that's a, that's my next, this is my next wish list video here. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video, me sharing out a lot of my original thoughts and ideas based off of some of the LEGO DC video games. If you enjoyed that video, of course, do the comment, do stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and I will, of course, see you guys later.